Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here from Canadian Card Pickers and today we're going to be opening up a Topps Heritage 2021 Baseball Hobby Box. Uh, we opened up some packs before, if you guys caught that in a previous video. Um, and I figured, you know what, let's give a hobby box a try because you at least get the autograph or relic in every box. So um, we can hope that maybe, maybe, just maybe, we get ourselves the Hank Aaron or Mike Trout. Those would be nice. All right. So we got ourselves Shin Chu Chu or Sin Su Chu. Uh, big old version, oversized card. That's cool. That's fun. Um, and we got our packs. So let's bring these out. Voila. Um, I can put that. Let's put that right there. That's fine for me. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's do it. Uh, quickly show you guys the odds. If you're curious so there they are there you can zoom in if you need to um, but yeah let's see what we get let's see what we get all right so we got Dylan Moore Michael Brantley uh, Yuli Gurriel Jacob deGrom and then uh, the way that you can tell short prints is on the back so it's a 400 or higher it's a short print uh jacob de grom justin smoke uh razel or racel iglesias uh, we got hanser alberto in action uh, andrew mccutcheon in action and 2020 world series game two card so I don't know how I can I'm trying to remember back to when I opened that first pack. Um, I think they put the cards in flipped, but they might not. So I can't remember. Um, come on, open. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. Throw that. So we got ourselves Zach Eflin. Joey Vato. Ooh, we got Robbie Ray. There's a Blue Jay, so we'll put that separate. Uh, we got Kyle Tucker. Then we have uh, Estevan Florial and Clark Schmidt rookie cards. Nice. So we'll put the rookie stuff there. We got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in action card. That's awesome. Good old Valley, Vladdy. Uh, we got Chris Sale. Oh, this one's a short print. So this is a short print here because this is, I think, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's over 500. So I'm not sure exactly what this one is, but we'll go through them at the end. Uh, Shane Bieber. Cesar Hernandez. So nice, nice. Uh, short prints, I think, in this are going to be a lot more common. What does it say? Um, let's see. So high numbered short print, one in three chance. So short prints are a little different in Heritage compared to um, what you might be used to and seeing like, you know, 2021, like that's a, you know, a short print and stuff like that. So a lot of these, the bottom is coming easy. That's weird. Now we have Carlos Santana, Jake Odorizzi. Oh, we got a Mike Trout. Not really worth anything on its own. Uh, Spencer Turnbull. AJ Puck. Let me make sure I'm looking at the back of these. Uh, then we have some rookies. We got Edward Olivares and Jorge Mateo. Uh, then we got Roberto Clement. Uh, so they've got these great one inserts. So those are cool. Uh, Clayton Kershaw in action card. And... German Marquez for the Rockies. Nice. Nothing too special yet. But we'll see. There are lots, lots of packs left. So we got Josh Hader of the Brewers. Uh, Mauricio Dubon of the Giants. Nice. 
Uh, we got Freddie Galvis, Cincinnati Reds. Uh, 2020 World Series Game 5. So do they just... I guess it's just of the game. Uh, Marco Gonzalez of the Mariners. Got ourselves Kenley Jansen of the Dodgers. Jose Osuna of the Pirates. Oh, that one's a short print, so we'll put that in there. Uh, we got Ryan Montcastle in action, rookie card. That's not a bad one. Um, so we'll put that there. And then we've got uh, Casey Mize and Tarek Skubal, rookie card for the Tigers. Heck yeah. Nice. So I guess with the rookies, they're mainly... Let's keep opening weird from the bottom. Um, just weird, the adhesive's not really tight. Um, oh, right out the gate, we got Andre Gimenez and David Peterson, rookie stars for the Mets. Ooh, we got ourselves Vladdy Guerrero Jr. card. Put that in the Blue Jays. Uh, Justin Dunn of the Mariners. Ty Butry, or Butry. Buttery? Buttery makes more sense. Uh, Jason Kipnis. And I'm just going to say this as well, that uh, you know I might say names wrong. If I haven't heard their name in a broadcast or anything, um, I'm not going to know how to like pronounce it, so I'm going to do my best guess. Um, so we have Debbie Garcia, or Davey Garcia, Ian Anderson, and Christian Javier, uh, NLAL rookie stars. Oh, and then we got Boyhood Photos of the Stars, Matt Olson. Uh, so I guess we can put that separate boyhood one. Uh, Eloy uh, Jimenez in action. That one's also got a uh, puzzle on the back. Uh, we have Hyunjin Ryu of the Blue Jays. So that's nice. On to the next pack. We got Tommy Edmond of the Cardinals. Oops. Then we have uh, Marlins rookie stars, uh, Lubin Diaz, Monty Harrison, and Nick Niedert. Then we have uh, Jesse Winker. Then we have Fromber Valdez. Uh, Chad Cool or Cull of the Pirates. Then we have Brandon Lowe in action card. Then we have Kyle Schwarber, Jose Ramirez in action card, the puzzle on the back, and then we have Adam Eaton. Nice, nice, nice. Hopefully we get a real one autograph. That would be nice. But uh, we got Scott Kingery. Just saw him playing with the Jays or against the Jays today. Uh, we have Luke Voigt for the Yankees. Jose Abreu of the White Sox. Joe Kelly of the Dodgers. Luis Severino of the Yankees. We have Nate Pearson in action rookie card. His start wasn't super amazing. Ooh, and there we have it. There's our auto. Ooh, and it's a rookie card too. Let's get that bad boy sleeved up and top loaded. Bought some top loaders today, so some of you will be very happy. This one's a bit, it's a bit on the thicker side, so it doesn't do it. No, no, there we go. Just played nice. But yeah, I just bought some top loaders today from my local card shop. So I figured, why not? When they have them in stock, I should get some. And I also got some sleeves at one of yours. Uh, great recommendation. Apologize, I can't remember the uh, username off the top of my head. But uh, recommended the 130-point sleeves for Relics. So I got the Fernando Tatis. Fernando Tatis. Why do I say it wrong? That's what happens when you say a name wrong to start. Um, Fernando Tatis Jr. Gosh. So yeah, there's our autograph. We got David Peterson of the Mets. Not too bad. Um, I'll see if I can find it on the fly. Um, let's see. So it's just a blue, so it's not red ink. Christian Pache, Dylan Carlson, 
Tatis, Cabrian. Sorry, it takes a little bit to go through the entire list, pretty much. Um, here's what we got. David Peterson. He's not quite as high as some of these others. Um, let's see what I can find. Cabrian. Actually, oh, I'm silly. I can filter on this by player. Why didn't I do that before, y'all? Filter by player, Peterson. David Peterson. Okay, and close that. All right, now let's see what this one's worth. This bad boy here. So that's red ink. Real one autograph, David Peterson. Okay, this isn't too bad. This one goes uh, 6055. Um, I'm pretty sure this is it. Autograph, it's not serialized or anything. So hey, that's that's not too bad for a high price. Um, clean that, is that in shot? That's in shot, there we go. Let's see if we can see it for the rest. Um, that's not, not too bad. Uh, to get a rookie card, especially, you know, I'm not sure how he's playing or whatnot. He's on the Mets. Um, so I'll have to look up some of his info to see what the odds are of that jumping up. Um, we got Miguel Cabrera in action card for the puzzle piece and then trent grisham for the padres so yeah we hit our guaranteed autograph i the, see the thing i don't know about hobby boxes and stuff is if you're guaranteed one autograph but if you can get more i've never actually looked that up right and i haven't heard from people about their experiences so we've got dane dunning zach birdie and matt foster for the white Sox rookies uh we got kyle seeger Oops. Uh, John Segura of the Phillies. Then we have Brandon Crawford of the Giants. Uh, Brad Keller of the Royals. Then we have Boyhood Photos of the Stars, Chris Bubik, or Bubik, whichever one it is. Uh, rookie card. So that one's nice. Ooh, we got something special here. Uh, let's put that there. So this one. Oh, this is a Mike Trout. Mike Trout what? Mike Trout action, but it's not an inaction. Because you can see they, they describe up there. So let's do the filter, because I'm not quite sure which one this is. Oh, I gotta remove the filter of David Peterson. But this one I'll sleeve up real quick, just so it's sleeved, because obviously I, I'm assuming if it's flipped um, it's something of value because it's not the normal Mike Trout Mike Trout had the bat so it might be a short print um, or a variation sorry short prints are a little different in this one uh, Mike Trout so there's 55 cards of him there's 169 The missing stars heritage nickname no not black border what is it it's him it says action what is it heritage action variations oh okay this one's actually really good this one's 121 10 so this is a good one that i'm going to top load that's a good hit mike trout always uh always sells <laughs> is always high demand he's one of the like it's it's crazy like you know how the angels have one of the best players of all time just in general like especially in the modern era and they're struggling <laughs> you know uh so we have kyle lewis in action card and then 2020 strikeout leaders for the al shane bieber lucas giolito and garrett cole so yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad of a hit there. Because that's the thing is, you know, variants and uh, variations and stuff like that and parallels can get you quite a bit. All right, we got Mark Melancon of the Angels. Not the Angels, the uh, of the Braves. I was still thinking of Trout. Uh, Tyler Nakeen of the Cleveland Indians. We got the 2020 World Series Game 4. We got Shane Bieber. 
Then we have James Karen Jack. Ooh, Fernando Tatis Jr. in action card. You know what? I'm going to sleeve that one. I know a lot of these just like base cards aren't super valuable, but you just never know. Um, you never know what you're going to get, right? So it's better to be safe than sorry later on. So that one's not like, doesn't need to be in view really, but uh, we have Reese Hoskins from the Phillies. And then we've got ourselves Pete Alonzo in action card and Wilmer Flores card. Moving on to the next one. Wow, so many baseball cards. What could we do with all of the baseball cards? All right, so we've got 2020 uh, uh, National League home run leaders. Marcelo Zuna, Fernando Tatis Jr., Pete Alonso, Mookie Betts, Cole Calhoun, uh, Adam Duvall, Manny Machado, and A.J. Pollock. Dang. whole bunch of them. Uh, next, we have Bryce Harper for the Phillies. We have Jesus Luzardo. Oh, that's interesting. Um, flipped upside down. Don't think it means anything, though. Uh, Michael Franco. Uh, Aaron Nola, Phillies. Getting a lot of their cards since we're playing them. Um, oh, we got Luis Robert. I, I doubt this is worth anything, but we'll put it aside. Luis Robert's an interesting one. Uh, Scott Heineman, right there. Oh, next. Oh, that one's also a short print. Uh, next up, we have Jake Cronenworth, rookie, er, rookie in action card. Nice. Uh, oh. oh, I was putting rookies here. Derp. Um, I should put the Blue Jays differently, like maybe over here, and then we can do that, and short prints can go there. There we go. Uh, so rookies for the Tigers, Bo Burrows, Kyle Funkhauser, and Roni Garcia. All right, that was rookies. Yeah. Next pack. So yeah, again, we're opening up the 2021 Heritage Hobby Box. We already pulled our auto, David Peterson, rookie card. So we're going to hold on to that one. Hope he does well. Um, and then we also pulled a Mike Trout uh, variation. It is his action variation. So we got uh, Pete Fairbanks. Then we have, oh, Joe Adele and Nick uh, Madrigal, rookie stars for the American League. Joe Adele, I'm not sure how he's doing. I think Nick Madrigal, though, is playing really well. I could be wrong, though. Um, I don't follow a lot of the other teams that much. I just get what I get from Osmosis. Uh, Jeff o or Jeff McNeil, Brian Anderson, uh, Nolan Arenado in action card. Uh, flashback, we got Hank Aaron blasting an all-star game homer. Uh, Jason Hayward. Oh, that's a short print as well. I'll have to look at those and see what they are, and I can just do an edit after um, saying what they are. Uh, we got Razor AL Champs and Evan Longoria for the Giants. All right. Uh, Nick Castellanos. Then we got Gio Gonzalez. Then we have Alec Baum and Spencer Howard rookie card. That right there. For the Rangers, we have Ronald Guzman. Josh Bell for the Pirates. Jerickson Profar of the Padres. Asus Luzardo, Boyhood Photos of the Stars. Put that there. Uh, Cody Bellinger in action card. And finally, Josh Donaldson of the Twins. All right, I think we're just a little over, maybe around halfway mark. Can't remember how many packs are in it. I think there's how many packs. I can't see. Yeah, we're getting through it. <laughs> uh, we have Brandon Belt of the Giants, uh, William Contreras, and Tyler Stevenson, National League rookie stars. We have Paul Goldschmidt. Eloy Jimenez of the White Sox. 
We have Lucas Sims. Matt Chapman in action card. Uh, we have Ian Happ for the Cubs. Ooh, we got an Alec Baum in action card. Oh, and Randall Gritchie. Nice. Nice. So we'll sleeve up the Alec Baum. I'm not sure what his Heritage Rookie is, but I'm sure it's not, like, crazy. Let's see. Let's have a look. We'll move the Mike Trout uh, filter uh, rookie pile. Just because I don't like to stack with the sleeves and everything. I prefer. There we go. Um, so if we filter by Alec Baum, we can look at what his... Whoops, sorry, you guys. Um, we can look what his... Well, actually, I can just sort by rookie. Oh, actually, that Alec Baum Spencer Howard card is just under $14 Canadian. So that's not bad. Wow, I'm opening this real all kinds of weird. Ugh, not, not liking this. <laughs> Why did I do it this way? What, what is my problem? So that Alec Baum one's not too bad. Not too shabby. <clears throat> we got Seth Lugo of the Mets. Luis Areas of the Twins. Liam Hendricks, of no relation to me. Uh, Michael Franco again. We haven't gotten a lot of duplicates, actually. Uh, Mitch Moreland. I will say that about this pack, or series. Uh, Jorge Soler. Keston Hiura of the Brewers. NL postseason, Dodgers advance. Then we have Adelbel Adelbel uh, Adelberto. God, why did that take so hard or took so long to get out of my mouth? Uh, Mondesi for the Royals. Let's go, let's go. Uh, Nolan Arenado. And then we have Antonio uh, Senzatella. We have Jose Quinta of the Cubs. Alex Verdugo of the Red Sox. Then we have ALERA leaders, Shane Bieber, Dallas Kuchel, and Chris Bassett. A lot of talk about the Oakland Athletics right now and them possibly leaving Oakland. Um, a lot of people in Vancouver, where I'm at, are talking about, ooh, could it be here? But who knows? Who knows? Uh, Mike Yastrzemski in action. Puzzle as well. <coughs> and we have Raymond Tapia for the Rockies. Oh, that's a short print one. Uh, then we have Rookie of the Year Award. And we got Bo Bichette. Nice. Getting our Blue Jays in there. So we have nine more packs. Nine more packs. We still got lots. Yeah, I still wonder if, like, you're guaranteed one thing and you won't be able to get others. Or if you can get multiple autos. If you just get lucky with the packs. Uh, we have Carson Kelly. Um, that one's just a normal one. Then we have uh, NLAL rookie stars, Tyson Miller and Jimmy Lambert. Then we've got Josh Lindblom. That's an interesting last name. Uh, Cattell Mart of the Diamondbacks. Then we have Nick Castellanos in action guard. Then we have the 2020 AL RBI leaders, Jose Abreu, Luke Voigt, Jose Ramirez, and Mike Trout. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, Tim Lopez. That one's a short print. Keston here uh, in action card. Then we have Alex Cobb. Nice. Nice, nice. All right. All right, there we go. We have Dylan Bundy for the Angels. Then we have Matt Barnes, Noah Sindergaard, uh, Dallas Kuchel. Then we have Mookie Betts in action card. We have Miguel Cabrera. Who is he? Oh, he's the designated hitter. Interesting. How old is he? He looks... Oh, he was born in 83. Okay. Uh, Corbin Burns. That's a short print. 
Um, we have the Padres, Taylor Williams. Then we have, for the Yankees, Albert Abreu, Nick Nelson, and Miguel Yahure, uh, rookie stars for the Yankees. Moving on, we got Miguel Andujar for the Yankees, Jake Cave for the Twins, Justin Turner for the Dodgers, Jose Abreu, then we have Joe Kelly of the Dodgers, then we have Kenta Maeda of the Twins, then we have 2020 NL postseason, Tatis's two home runs secure the win. Then we have Clayton Kershaw and Michael Chavez of the Red Sox. <clears throat> so it is interesting. There's less, like, hits in the Heritage Pack. Um, you know, like, if we were opening a hobby of retail, we'd have multiple parallels and stuff like that. So I guess the short prints really are the thing, or these big ones that don't really have chrome, I guess. Uh, Cardinals Lane Thomas. Oh. Then we have Fernando Tatis Jr. himself. What, uh, let's see what his <coughs> card goes for. Put that down when we load it. Uh, Chris Bassett. Then we have Javier Baez. Uh, Lucas Giolito. Then we have Danny Duffy. Oops. Uh, the great one, Roberto Clement, Pittsburgh Pirates. Then we have uh, Starling Mart in action card. And then our 2020 NL ERA leaders, Trevor Bauer, Yu Darvish, and Dinelson Lament. Um, okay, so we're filtering. We want to take out Tatis. There we go. Just want to see what his base card is. Sometimes that happens. Like, you have really top players that they just make kind of limited... Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Do they have just the normal one? Uh, was it in action? No, just normal. Uh, action variation. Oh, so, oh, French text. Okay. Um, current Tops Heritage. So it's 137. I don't think it's really worth anything. Oh, there it is. Ah, it's like three-ish bucks. I'll put it in the normal stack. Oh, whoops. Started to go the other direction. All right, let's see what we get. We have Aaron Judge out the gate. Then we have Byron Buxton. Uh, Michael Taylor. Tyler Mall. Trevor May of the Twins. Uh, then we have uh, Boyhood Photos of the Stars, Will Smith. Then we have Justin Upton. Then we got ourselves Mookie Betts and Austin Hayes of the Orioles. All right. Oh, there we go. We got a Luis Robert, another one. This is just his like base card. Um, don't know if it's worth anything, but we'll see. Uh, we got Austin Riley for the Braves. Archie Bradley for the Reds. Chance Sisko of the Orioles. Matt Kemp of the Rockies. Then we got ourselves Spencer Howard in action. So we'll put that in the rookie pile. Ooh, flashback 1972. Dow Jones closes above 1,000 for first time. Wow. Back in the day. Uh, we got Javier Baez in action card. And Tyro Estrada. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. We're on to our final three. Let's hope we get something. It almost feels like you get just like one or two normal hits and then everything else is just kind of bland. That could also just be like Topps Heritage, right? You know, it could just be like that. You're going to get a few good hits and then not much else. Uh, Mike Soroka, Nathan Yavaldi, Abraham Toro, uh, World Series Game 6, Tommy Lastella, 
Garrett Hampson. Justin Verlander in action card. Oh, we got Luis Robert in action card now. And then we have rookie stars Cody Whitley and Roel Ramirez. So let's just see if any Luis Robert stuff is. It's probably not. Most players aren't going to be worth a whole heck of a lot unless they are like the, you know, prized pig. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll see what Beckett tells me. All right, we got Alex Bregman, Tyler Chatwood. Then we have uh, rookie stars for the Rangers, Anderson Teeda and Leody Tav or Tavares. Uh, we got Juan Soto, Max Fried, uh, Willie Mays, World Series MVP award, Roberto Clement, uh, Albert Pujols, in action card. He's uh, in talks with action. It's actually funny. He's in talks with the Dodgers. Basically, they just like bring him on, like maybe designated hitter. Um, yeah, not really any specific um, thing on it. It's just in talks, but yeah. Um, and then we have Yadier Molina. We're going to be moving on to our final pack everyone so this is where i'm going to ask you guys this final pack give us your luck how can you do that well if you just um like the video and subscribe you will give us the luck that we need to get something good in this pack so i'm expecting you guys to do that right now you can do that you have a little bit of time while i look up just the basic Luis robert cards Let's see, Heritage Red. Right. Normal one, about five bucks. In action, about five bucks. What's the other one? What was the other one that we got? Oh, New Age Performers. Where do they have that? No, that one's about six bucks too. Okay, all right, you guys, let's see what our luck brings us. We have Steven Souza Jr. for the Cubs. Max Scherzer. John Birdie, Ryan McBroom, Max Scherzer, Scherzer in action card, Treya Turner, uh, Miguel Sano. Oh, we got a, oh, that one's a short print. Uh, then we have Ronald Acuna Jr. in action card, and Albert Pujols. So this Acuna one, I'll just put up. There we go. All right, so there you have it. There's there's all the cards pulled. There's nothing else. That's everything. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly cut so I can do some research on what we got here, um, especially for these short prints, just cause, like I said, short prints are a little more common. They're not quite like short prints in the standard base series. So uh, we're just gonna quickly stop things and then we will be right back. And we're back. Thank you guys. Um, so, to quickly go through the in-action rookie cards, nothing really of value. Ryan Moncastle's like maybe three or four bucks. Not too much there. Um, short prints, really nothing. And the Ronald Acuna Jr. and Alec... Well, Alec Baum is worth a little bit. Uh, we'll put the price up for that. But, uh, uh, yeah, the rest of like these short prints, nothing really of value. Um... For the general rookie cards as well, uh, this is like increasing order. These are kind of in the dollarish range. Start to go up around here-ish. And then this one's worth about 14 bucks or something. So I'm going to top, or not top load, but at least sleeve it to keep it protected. So there we go. We'll put that aside. Um, outside of that, for our uh, boyhood photos of the stars, Will Smith, uh, Asus Luzardo, uh, Chris Bubick rookie card, and Matt Olson. 
There's nothing too fancy there. We did get these Luis Robert, but I don't think they're really worth anything. Not too much, but I put them aside just in case. We've got these three Roberto Clement. Great one cards. Excuse me. And this 1972 flashback. So not, nothing too insane. And then just for our personal collection, uh, Bo Bichette, Randall Grichik, Hyun Jin Ryu, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., uh, him as well in action, and then Robbie Ray. So that's for our Blue Jays stuff. And then the big hits, oops, the big hits tonight were this Mike Trout uh, variation. This is his action, sorry, his action variation. You can see right there. Uh, so there's this one. So that one uh, prices up, but I think it's about um, uh, 70 something, I think it was, give or take. We'll put the right price up there um, at the time of edit. And then we got the David Peterson rookie card auto. So that one's about a hundred and something bucks. So not too bad, not too bad. And it's nice because it's actually like on the card. So that's what I like about these. So my, my advice, just from this poll, um, if you're looking for a lot of variation and hits, you know, you're not going to get a lot from Topps Baseball. You're going to get some cool, like, you know, a couple good things like these two. But everything else is kind of, you know, it's space uh, to some extent. There might be a couple okay ones in there maybe I missed. It's, I think, a lot harder to tell when you've got something with the heritage. Like, obviously, an auto is going to be good. A rookie card will be good. And, you know, any Mike Trout type of variation over the base card is good. Um, but, yeah, so if you're going to buy a hobby box... You're pretty much buying it for like the autograph is kind of the vibe I'm getting. You get a bunch of extra cards with it or not even the autograph. You might get a relic. So, um, yeah, you know, would I recommend this say over, you know, a base, you know, tops hobby? I don't know. But if tops heritage is your vibe, like I like these cards and I like the cardboard stock. It feels really nice to go through. But um, then, yeah, definitely go for it. They're great. You can even get hanger boxes. If you want to go for something a little uh, more low key and you don't want to go all out for a, a heritage or a, a hobby box, but uh, yeah, that uh, that's the end of it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you guys' support. Um, you know, every like, comment, and subscription, you know, helps me keep doing some cool videos for you guys and stuff like that. Um, if you have any recommendations for a box. You know, kind of of these ones, you know, I'm not about to go out and get a $5,000 box. But, you know, if you guys, you know, want to see maybe something else, um, I can see if I can try and find it, you know, within reason, right? You know, you know, if you're talking about something that's impossible to find, I probably won't be able to find it. But if you're talking about something, uh, you know, like 2019 Series 1 or Opening Day or something like that, those are way more feasible. Um, I know there's some, like, Opening Day. I've been, I've been humming and hawing. What do you guys think about Opening Day? Are they worth it? You know, I see that you don't get as much, but of course, or you don't have the odds is, aren't as high to get something that's worth quite a bit. But I see that they, you know, they're not as expensive. Let me know what you think. Should I go for, for one? I could also do 2019, but I don't know if that's worth it. We'll see. Anyways, thank you so much. Again, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.